And we want to get right to our top story. Yes, that relentless winter blast slamming much of the country, George. Yeah, that's a look at Oklahoma City right now. You see the snow is coming down. It's just 11 degrees there. Oklahoma, just one of 22 states where the storm is impacting the vaccine rollout. At least 22 states have delayed or canceled COVID vaccinations as more than 3.3 million people are waking up without power this morning across at least eight states, Michael. And Texas with the overwhelming majority of those power outages. Just look at most of Houston in the dark. We're going to go to Marcus Moore with the very latest from Dallas this morning. Good morning, Marcus. Well, Michael, good morning. Another round of wintry weather is hitting an area already paralyzed by that first storm. And this morning, snow and ice covering the region as many people remain in the dark. This morning, Arctic air, power grids failing, and millions left to cope with the bitter cold. Amarillo, Texas getting pummeled with snow overnight. Cars and trucks sliding off the road. Tow trucks out rescuing drivers as temperatures drop near zero. Part of the Lone Star State hitting record low temperatures not seen in a century. And people are cranking up the heat, which is taxing the state's electrical system, leading to cascading power outages and rolling blackouts. This morning, more than 3 million waking up without power. This is tragic. We hadn't had power since 5 a.m. yesterday. The cold and loss of power turning deadly. At least 20 people have died, including an 8-year-old girl and a woman dying from carbon monoxide poisoning after a car was left running in a garage to help create heat. In Houston, hospitals treating at least 140 patients, including a mother and child in critical condition after using charcoals indoors to stay warm. And outrage over images like this. Skyscrapers lit up in Houston while surrounding neighborhoods were left in the dark. What is going on right now is completely unacceptable. Texas Governor Greg Abbott speaking to our ABC station, KTRK. We are going to have to restructure to make sure that situations like this never occur again. And while Houston's mayor was at home also speaking to KTRK, they were plunged into darkness. People have made some life and death choices because they were trying to keep themselves warm. Oh no, we just lost oh. power. But for the millions bundled up with no electricity, this has been life for days. In this room in our house, it is 33 degrees. In Austin, Andrew Leahy and his wife finding ways to keep warm. You'll see a blanket here and blue scotch tape. We're doing anything possible to keep the heat in. Energy providers have been able to restore power to some of the homes and businesses here, but it's only a fraction compared to the millions who have been without power for days. And, Michael, it likely won't be restored to any significant degree until the temperatures here get back above freezing. Well, we hope that's soon, Marcus. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.